Hello, this is Jordan here from Uprint SA. We're doing a foil onto glass video today using a gold foil. We're going to print a, a wolf with a cap on there, nice and trendy. And we're using our two chemicals here Activate and uh, PPX um, to transfer the logo. So, this is a new method we're doing onto glass. You can also start using this method for standard glass printing if you're just doing a full color logo. Let's, let's go for it. Right, first thing we're doing is we're delaminating the logo, reveal the cut. Get your blade underneath and then you pull the paper away. So it's laminated the yellow paper, it's a very thin piece of paper. It can't go through a fuse unit, so please, this will not work on a standard printer, but will work only in a U print printer. Thank you. Okay, dip your cloth into the PPX and the activator, rub it on nicely. Okay, rub it in with your palm. Very important, what he's doing here, he's using his palm to rub it in, not the base of his hand over there, not the base, not the side rubbing it like that, the whole palm is rubbing it. You're rubbing it like a cream, creasing both the top and the bottom so he doesn't have to apply pressure. You can see the logo hasn't been, it's not touching the surface yet until he's ready. Places his left index finger there, holds it in place, allows for his right hand to fetch the cloth, places his finger where the chemical is on the cloth creating a frictionless surface and then allowing him to apply pressure without the paper moving. Look at the technique going up and down. Now nice small movements like that. You don't want to do circles on a curved surface. Takes a look underneath and it looks beautiful. Alright, so that's not an issue as you saw on the piece of paper there, that won't be an issue with foiling. Okay, there's your finished result, now we're just going to heat that up, thanks. Alright, so now we're going to use a heat gun, make sure your heat gun is at full temperature before applying the heat. Go for it, Hudson. Hey, watch your technique, he's not moving the gun like this, please don't use that technique, he's focusing the heat slowly. Moving up. Gets it nice and hot. Must heat this up properly so that we can clean over the logo once it's cooled down okay, without damaging it. Okay, thanks, that's it. I just wanted to show you here, you can see there's a magenta edge there. That is a registration issue. If you want to fix that, just simply go on the printer, click menu, go down to calibration and you can fix your registration that way. I do have a video on how to do this. We're going to clean the gloss um, of any impurities, uh, especially the activator and the polymix. 20% activator. 80% PPX chemical. Let's go for it. Okay, you're cleaning with benzene and methylated spirits uh, mixed together. It's already been done on this cloth, it's been dipped in. So, what you want to do is you want the cloth to be nice and wet with benzene and meth. 50 50 ratio. You want to wipe it quite uh, aggressively to remove any chemical in between the um, in between those fine detailed areas. Especially in like those very fine cracks because if you foil on here the foil grab in between there if there's actual chemicals still left inside there So we'll have to take a look now. Thanks Okay, next we're gonna heat this up nice and hot and then uh, Heat that up very hot Now once it gets to temperature, you're gonna uh, you're gonna immediately take your foil and you're gonna take a cloth, making sure it heats up everywhere. Get it nice and hot. Take your foil and place it immediately on top. It's like a nice curved, and you can see it immediately start to grab, like that. Again, you take your cloth, and you start wiping. 
it's, it's very hot so your fingers might burn with a cloth that thin you might want to use a much thicker cloth than this but you're just simply pushing the foil down over the logo wherever the logo is you're pushing it down there's little bubbles unlike that 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 will show up on the logo you want to try to get rid of, rid of that you can maybe use a, a, a stanley blade okay now you can wipe down there again okay very important to do something like that there's another little one there Right, give it a wipe. Alright, awesome. Okay, now we're going to wait for that to cool down. You just take your product, let it sit for a bit, and wait for it to cool down. Once it's cooled down, we can pull that off. The glass has completely cooled down. We can now peel this off. Go for it. Alright, and that is a beautiful finish. So that is now metal foil on top of the glass and to make this uh, dishwasher safe we're going to spray our triple uh, x chemical on top of this. We're we'll spraying our three part mix onto the, the logo. You can see the distance between the spray and the logo. He sprays basically half the cup. You can see the spray on top of the logo there. Okay, and you let that sit in front of a fan for five minutes. All right, last process is heating up the logo very hot again. All right, and this, the reason why we put it in front of the fan, we want the chemical to dry before we heat it up again. Get this nice and hot, it's very important to get this logo hot to activate the chemical causing an acid etching process. If you do not heat this up properly, it will not make it dishwasher proof. And that's now. Okay, that's it, thank you. Alright, so that is the finished finished sample. You might not get a perfectly smooth finish, but it is extremely beautiful. And that is how you foil onto glass and ceramics. You can use the same, same process onto ceramics, onto stainless steel. Uh, plastic is slightly different. We'll work on that. Thanks.